This is 60 Sec Check, the one minute review. My name is Alex and today it's all about the DJI Osmo Action 3. Let's go. Quick overview of the specs, press pause or fasten your seatbelt, I have to hurry up this time. The controls are super easy, swipe down for general settings, swipe up for resolution and frame rates and swipe from the sides to access the modes. Then you have a dedicated icon for further settings like white balance and pro mode. And all that works of course with the touchscreen on the front. Other good point is that you can rewatch your shot and scrub through the footage. This comes in handy if you need to check out your framing or have to delete some files for more space. Of course, as an action cam it needs to be sturdy, and it is. So the great build quality is worth to be mentioned. Next up, the image stabilization is great as well. I held here the cam in my hand and still got decent footage. Shout out to the mounting system, quick on, quick off with magnets and hooks. Absolutely brilliant. Now let's talk about the image quality. In good light condition, it's great. The resolution, the bright colors, even underwater when there's a lot going on, the lights, and in the depths as well. But as soon as it gets darker, the quality turns at best just okay. For a small screen it might be alright, but nothing compared to what you get on daytime. And then there is a white balance issue underwater, which often takes a few seconds to adjust. Something to keep in mind. Last point is the battery life at 4K 120. You don't even get 60 minutes at full charge. Yes, sorry for that, but that's the deal, right? 60 seconds, pros and cons. And just a real recap, the camera is decent, it's great, but the low light quality is an issue. Even in not so dark conditions like a pitch black cave, you clearly can see the noise and artifacts. And then there is the 4K 120 battery life problem. It's not lasting long. I max out the cameras because why not? Maybe I want to crop in. Or I want to slow down the image afterwards. I don't know it yet when I'm shooting. The only reason I would go down in quality is to save space on the memory card and when I know I need the battery going on for the whole day. So and to wrap this up the DJI Osmo Action 4 has just been announced and as far as I can tell and what I read on paper the major upgrade is the sensor which has been improved and that should help out in low light conditions. I'm gonna stick with a 3, it's cheaper, it's fine, it does the job. I'm not gonna record at night, so that's it. I'm not gonna do the next level, I'm not gonna jump, you know, I'm sticking with right here. It's a comfort zone. So, up to you guys, that's what I gotta tell you about the 3. If you have something to say, comment down below, consider subscribing or even liking, it's up to you. And that's it. All I can tell now is peace. Alright? See ya.